I'm going to show how to construct the diagram of Divine Presence by Ibn Arabi. Uh, I'll link to the video a very interesting talk by someone who wrote a book about Ibn Arabi and uh, he was discussing how the compass makes the symbol of the Aleph And once you open it, uh, it makes like the ba symbol. And what's usually a circle here or here is like God's uh, divine presence, um, allowing creation to occur. It's, it's an interesting idea to me. So here's a, an example of the finished diagram. And we'll go over uh, some of the writings, but we want to focus on how to make this design using a compass and a straight edge. So we want to make sure that our compass and our pencil, our compass, tip and pencil are the same distance apart. And we also want to make sure that we found the center of your paper so that when doing your construction, you're going to make sure it fits now uh, and that it's even or centered. So we start off with a circle in the center, and we're going to have to bisect it or cut it in half, and we'll use a ruler for that. Now, if we wanted to cheat the second step, we can actually use one of these T rulers. So I'm going to put the pencil on the center of the circle and then draw the line, it tends to be more accurate that way. It guarantees that you go exactly through the center. So if we wanted to cheat, we could use our T ruler to make the perpendicular line or the right angle. We want to cut that in half now. If we're going to use constructions, we're going to extend our compass a little bit more than what it was. Carefully place the point on the right side. And we're going to make an arc and then go to the other side and make an arc without moving your compass. And that's called a perpendicular bisector. So when we line up these two points here and here, we're going to be able to find the bisecting line or make a 90 degree perpendicular line to the original first line. So the second step will be to take our compass and we are going to place the point of the compass on one of the intersecting points where the line and the circle meet. And we're going to adjust the compass so that it's touching the one on the top and the bottom with our pencil. And that's the distance to the next curve. So we'll make this curve here. And then we'll go to that spot up here and do the same. And then we'll go to this spot here. And we'll repeat that. So there are four new arcs or parts of a circle. Next, um, we're going to extend the two starting perpendicular lines we drew. suppose at the beginning we could have just made them larger. And so the next step will be to repeat a similar process. Now we're going to put the compass point where the line crosses the circle once more. 
and we're going to extend the compass to where the two outer circles intersect. And we're going to draw our arc. We'll go up top. And so looking at the diagram, we have these three, or sorry, four smaller circles, and they're going to be half the distance of this line here. So we're going to do that perpendicular bisector. We could take one of these lines. We're going to cut it in half. And so we'll put the point of the compass on one edge, make an arc go to the other side and repeat and when we line our ruler up we're going to find the middle or the bisector so we're going to adjust our compass from here to that spot and we're going to place it here and draw the circles. So let me take a pen and darken it and then we can explain uh, some of the writing he had. He had the center here was presence, up here life, knowing, wanting, power, air, on top here is fire, earth or dirt, on the bottom water, and in between here is intellect, nature, particles, and soul. So let me go ahead and darken this and erase the, the lines and the arcs that we don't need. And so here is what the finished product looks like. In the center, he had the word presence. And on each of these lines, he had co-relation. Then on the outer boxes, up here you have life, here you have knowing, on the left we have power, and on the bottom we have wanting. Up in this corner here we have intellect. On the left side, we have soul. On this corner here, we have particles. And on the other corner, we have nature. Soul, intellect, nature, particles. And then we have on the outer edges of the circles, on top we have the fire, on the left side we have air, on the right side we have earth or dirt, and on the bottom we have water, which are the four elements, uh, even can be described as the platonic elements. And uh, I'm going to be investigating some more. I'm reading the book 
uh, by the person whose video I'm going to link uh, just because he begins to talk about all of these ideas and uh, I really need to study a lot more but I wanted to share how to create the design which I think was a, a really interesting way of describing some very deep ideas. So hopefully you enjoy creating it. 